I'm Lotte Heise and I'm an entertainer and I really love music, but I'm also very fond of paintings. And I've chosen this painting by Elise Go because I think it tells a whole story. And I almost think I can hear the music playing behind it. Firstly, I chose it because I'm very interested in Judaism. There's also some Judaism in my family, not so much, but some. And my grandmother hid Jews in the basement during World War II. And also because when I look at this picture, I can see a film in my mind. The Jews have a long and troubled history. And I think that in this face that L.A. Scott was painted, you can almost see the whole tragic history of the Jews. Not always tragic, but often very tragic history. And I think there's a strength to his face. But at the same time, we know that he must be poor because he's a rag picker. And that's also interesting. Often poor people are portrayed as victims, but there's nothing victim-like about him. And that's another reason I really like this painting and think it's beautiful as it is. When you consider that L.A. Sko only lived until he was 29, he must have started early perfecting his painting skills because there's a fantastic technique in this painting. Nothing is left to chance. And I think that's pretty brilliant. I also think the colors are extremely interesting, the way they are stressing the mood, because it's kind of autumn-like, deuce. And even though he obviously has strength in his face, he wasn't exactly a well-off or a super happy man, at least you wouldn't think so. The painting makes me feel like I'm looking into something, like when you're listening to music and you get to be a part of something. And when you look at this painting, you wish it was a film, just a little one. Like a little story, does he have children? Is he married? He probably isn't because he's a midget, but he could be. Does he have a mistress? Does he have good friends? Does he play cards? There's a lot you would like to know about him, and that's because the painting is painted with so much texture, you get the feeling when you have looked at it several times that you know him. And I think that makes it very intriguing. So it makes you feel something. Not all paintings can make you feel something. There are some where you just think, wow, isn't that nice, or well-painted, or beautiful, or that sort of thing. But this one makes you feel a lot of things very, very quickly. And I think that's a quality in itself. If I had to come to some kind of conclusion about this painting, I'd say, hey, I'd love to have had a glass of wine with him and have heard what stories he had to tell. <laughs>